This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Attainment. Power gained through the crafting of one's soul by the way of the legacy. A special mystical teaching from a mentor to a student. Bedlam. A paradox where the caster suffers a derangement worsened by susceptibility to certain magics. In some cases, the derangement might be contagious, affecting one or more other mages. Branding. A paradox where the caster is inflicted with a supernatural physical disfigurement. The ball, a formal group of mages, sometimes formed around a symbolic theme. Cassilium, the highest political body of the awakening in a region. Counselors, counselors from various local cabals serve, making collective decisions as necessary that concern the awakened as a whole, guided by a hierarchy. Counselor, a member of the Concilium. There are usually no more than five, including the hierarchy. Death, the arcanum that governs darkness, decay, ectoplasm, innervation, ghosts, and soul stealing. Domain, a place imbued with supernatural powers by way of one or more soul stones. Vulgar magic cast within a domain is considered to be covert unless witnessed by one or more sleepers. Disbelief, the power of a sleeping soul to deny the existence of magic. Causing a sleeper witness to forget or misremember what he saw. And to unravel a vulgar spell that is persistently under sleeper scrutiny. Disciple. A mage who has attained the third degree. Three dots of knowledge in the arcanum. Ephemera spiritual substance, the thing of which spirits are made. Being the object of twilight are made of ephemera, as is anything within the shadow realm. Exarchs, a mythical archmage who resides in the supernatural, supernal world. One of the victors in the Atlantean Celestial War. Exarchs are opposed by oracles. Fallen world, a prosaic world, this world, including both the material realm and the shadow realm. Familiar, a spirit aid to a mage, mystically Bonded to his soul through use of spirit magic. Familiars make excellent spies for those mages capable of casting scrying spells and sympathetic magic. Fate, the arcanum that governs blessings, curses, destiny, fortune, oaths, and probability. Final key. The le legendary state of understanding where a mage has solved the mysteries and can ascend to this eternal world. Forces. The arcanum that governs electricity, gravity, kinetic energy, light, physics, radiation, sound, and weather. Free council. A mystical order that was officially formed at the beginning of the 20th century. It proudly claims no ties to Atlantis, 
seeks to modernize the craft of magic gauntlet or the gauntlet the barrier between the material realm and the shadow realm the strength of the gauntlet varies in certain areas and even disappears completely at a verge gis a powerful face spell that forces its target to perform a certain deed or accomplish a certain goal. From the early Irish word for taboo. Gnosis. A mage's understanding of the supernal world. This is not a conscious knowledge so much as an instinct. It is the core of a mage's awakened consciousness. The means by which he can contact a higher realm. His arcanum lore provides the mechanism by which he draws down the laws of the higher realm. Poetic, an objective described describing demons within astral space. Guardians of the Bell, a mystical order with roots in Atlantis. They were the spies and secret police of the awakened city. Hallow, a place that collects and or generates mana. Habit, a paradox where the caster loses control of his spell, causing it to affect a random target, and in some cases reverses the spell's effect. Herald, an official role within the concilium, representing a mage diplomat. Heralds are usually sent as messengers or ambassadors to member cabals or other concilia. Hierarch, the leader of the concilium, usually one of the most powerful and influential mages in the region. High speech, or the high speech. The Atlantean language woven into the tapestry itself so that statements made with this tongue can alter reality. It is believed that this is because it was the native tongue of the oracles and exarchs, and their reign in the supernal world gives their language power over the fallen world. Although poorly understood by modern mages, it can be spoken to increase magical efficacy. Sleeper minds cannot process the language, and they mishear it as noise or foreign babble. Hubris an act or state of mind that causes a mage to stray from the path of wisdom, i.e. to suffer wisdom degeneration. Majo, the image of a spell in the mind's eye of its caster. Imperium Mysteriorum, sovereignty of the mystery. Initiate, a mage who attains the first degree, one dot of knowledge in an arcanum. Invisible truth, the invisible truth, awareness and knowledge of the supernatural world, especially the supernatural world and the mystery mainly used as a term that counters the lie. Legacy, a mystical teaching about the crafting of the awakened soul. Legacies cannot be learned from books, but must be taught from mentor to students. Legacies allow a mage to acquire mystical attainments. Le Lex Magicus, the body of law concerning magic and the awakening or awakened 
community. Each cabal is expected to police itself within the bounds of this law, and the concilium can advocate the law when a cabal does not honor it or comes into conflict with another cabal or mage. The Lie The world of sleepers, ignorant to magic and the su supernatural. Conversely, it refers to the state of being ignorant to or of the mysteries. As contrasted with the invisible truth. Also, any force that tries to hide the truth, i.e. the schemes of the exarchs. Life, the arcanum that governs disease, evolution, healing, metamorphosis, and vigor. Magical tools, items a mage uses to help prevent a paradox when casting magic. Tools can be chosen from the mage's path or order list. Mana, magical energy, a form of the prima materia, prime. Mana is likened to the water or liquid state of that magical substance as compared to pass the earth or solid state. Manifestation, a paradox where a creature from the abyss manifests within the caster's vicinity. Master, a mage who has attained the fifth degree, five dots of knowledge in an arcanum. Mastigos, a mage whose path leads to pandemonium. Mastigos epitomize the tarot card of the devil material realm, the physical portion of the fallen world, the only realm of existence known to sleepers. Matter, the arcanum that governs Alchemy, elemental air, elemental earth, elemental water, shaping and transmutation. Mind, the arcanum that governs communication, hallucinations, mental projection, mind control, and telepathy. Morris, a mage whose path leads to Stygia, Moros optimizes the tarot card of death. The Mysteries, the way of magic, especially concerning how the art and practice of magic can ascend the soul safely across the abyss. Mysterium, a mystical order with roots in Atlantis. They were the scholars and explorers of the awakened city. Abramus, a mage whose path leads to the ether. Abramus optimized the tarot card of strength. Aneros, plural, Aneri, a mage's personal dream plane within astral space. Oracle, a mythical archmage who resides in this eternal world. One of those who held true to Atlantean ideas in the Celestial War. Oracles oppose the Exarchs. Order, a formal organization of mages that seek to cultivate the Ars Mysterium among its members and dis disseminate its goals to other mages. Pandemonium, 
a supernatural realm where the ruling arcana are mind in space. Mages who walk the Mastigas path claim a watchtower in this realm. Paradox, a temporary break in reality caused by the misapplication of magic. There are five types of paradoxes. Anomaly, Bedlam, Branding, Havoc, and Manifestation. Path, a mage's personal connection to a watchtower in a supernal realm by which he can work magic. Pattern, the mystical body of a person, place, or Thing, describing the arcana of which it is composed. Pentacle, or the Pentacle, the loose alliance of the four Atlantean magical orders, Admantine Arrow, Guardians of the Bell, the Mysterium, and the Silver Ladder, and the Free Council Order. This term also refers to concili, in which all five of these orders participate. Practice of knowing, a body of knowledge associated with the first degree, first dot of an arcanum, describing how a mage can gain mystical knowledge and understanding of phenomena within the arcanum's preview. Practice of compelling, a body of knowledge associated with the first degree, first thought of an arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically Nudge events or targets within the Arcanum's preview toward a desired outcome. Practice of fraying, a body of knowledge associated with third degree, third dot of an Arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically harm a target. Practice of making. A body of knowledge associated with the fifth degree, fifth dot of an arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically create phenomena within the arcanum's preview of or from nothing. Practice of patterning. A body of knowledge associated with fourth degree fourth dot of an arcanum describing how a mage can significantly transform targets. Practice of perfecting a body of knowledge associated with third degree three dot third dot of an arcanum describing how a mage can mystically bolster or improve targets. Practice of ruling, a body of knowledge associated with the second degree, second dot of an arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically command and control targets. Practice of shielding, a body of knowledge associated with the second degree, second dot of an arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically protect targets. Practice of unmasking, a body of knowledge associated with the fifth degree, fifth dot of an arcanum, describing how a mage can mystically destroy targets or phenomena with the arcanum's per view. Practice of unraveling, a body of knowledge associated with the fourth degree, 
forth that of an arcanum describing how a mage can gravely injure or degrade targets. Practice of unveiling a body of knowledge associated with the first degree. First dot of an arcanum describing how a mage can mystically perceive phenomena within the arcanum's purview. Practice of veiling a body of knowledge associated with the second degree, second dot of an arcanum describing how a mage can mystically conceal phenomena within the arcanum purview. Practice of weaving a body of knowledge associated with the third degree, third dot of an arcanum describing how a mage can mystically alter a target. Primal wild, a supernal realm where the, where the ruling arcana are life and spirit. Mages who walk the thyrsus path claim a watchtower in this realm. Prima materia, the supernal substance, also called prime. In the fallen world, the prima materia is known in two states, mana and tas. Prime, the arcanum that governs hallows, illusions, magical imbuement, mana, resonance, and tas. Provost, an official role within the concilium representing a major bailiff. Provost are tasked with ensuring that the concilium's rulings are carried out by those affected. Quiescence, or the quiescence, the curse that keeps most souls from awaking, closing people's eyes to the truth of reality and indoctrinating them into the lie. Sent Sentinel, an official role within the concilium representing a mage enforcer. Sentinels see to the military and martial tasks of the concilium. Sanctum, the place where a mage or cabal performs magical studies and practices the Ars Mysterium. Mysteriorium. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon, and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.